I don't need a pop filter. I do. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Well, no. we're Dragonies Dice, a comedy D&D 5e actual play show where a group of inexperienced heroes embark on fast and deep storylines in a homebrew world brimming with magic and mischief. Sure to have you rolling with laughter. I get it. That, that was a good one. That was a that was a good one. You, we started right before I was about to smoke. No, just do it under your mic. It'll be ambience. Oh, like, <laughs> this is awesome. You should do that every time you light a torch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, I'm, I almost set my fucking pop filter on fire. <laughs> Put some like get some like almost. like like diapers and rub the shit on it so like it does. It's oh, okay. Uh, it. fleeing from the city of Fire and Ethan after angering the Caecilian oh, dynasty. You all made haste for the Dawn Trotter's rebel hideout within the desert. However, it was figured out that the divination magic teacher of Afterglow Academy, Claudia Eichrest, was using spells such as Scry to track the party to regain a dragon scale once belonging to the school. She fucking failed! Did she? Because this was figured My out scale. too late as mages came crashing down through the ceiling and Bamden and Honorbash stayed behind to draw their attention as a group and the rest of the Dawn Trotters fled. She destroyed that, but I still had scale. Yeah, as long as you're fine. Yeah. Eloise F. Moore agreed to further assist you in taking down the Hasday Solo Coliseum where she awaits your correspondence, but her trust in you all is wavering right. as she perceives more and more selfishness from your actions. I wonder why. We're not selfless. She guided <laughs> you part way to the Mori Mines, coined Bug City to the rest of the continent. But in the last part of your travel, without her, you were all ambushed by dung beetle bandits that burned down your carriage. Now, after slaughtering them all, you recompose yourselves, thinking back to when one of the bandits let it slip that they had a stolen book belonging to Tic Tac, a Thrykreen and Mori that's leading the ongoing strike and that hangs around the newly constructed missionary church of Angarod. You guys are currently in this sort of ravine, this, this chasm, these dead bugs surrounding you. Your carriage is on fire, but Pebble had uh, unchained unroped uh boulder from the rain so that boulder isn't caught up in this fire but yeah your carriage you do not see a way of saving it at this point however the smell yes. of dung fills the air uh, as there as you see piles of what looks like just trash stuff these bandits have looted all combined together in mounds of like dirt and dung uh some of them like on fire oh. Lovely. I kind of line this ravine. Can I check whichever one's closest with me with a long stick and break it open? Uh, yeah, make a investigation check. Gotcha. At disadvantage because using a stick. Oh, well, okay. This is already off to a bad start. Okay, how's a seven? Oh my god. You kind of <laughs> poke through it. It's it's hard to kind of maneuver in the dung with a with a just like a stick you found. Uh, especially I'm since. Not touching that. <laughs> but most there's. Most of the sticks here are like used for like their barricades and their bandit camp. Uh, so it's hard to find really like a good stick even. As there's, you're in the desert, there's really no trees. But you're, you're not finding the book in this pile of dung. I could use yeah. a cactus. There's those things. I'd like to dive head first into one of the piles of dung. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make an investigation check at advantage. Oh, hell yeah, I'm swimming <laughs> around. That's how you do it. There we go, baby. Natural 20. You, Shello... <laughs> Just dives right through a pile of dung coming out the other side with a golden clasped book in his mandibles. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> you do this often. The, the outside of the book is this completely just like pure solid gold and it's clasped uh, together with a lock. Uh, currently locked and it, it it's a bit covered in some dung but uh it seems the papers are fine because of this golden metal over it am i able to mm. uh bite on it to see if it's real metal let's, let's do another investigation it. for that okay my god 16 16 it, it, you bite it it appears to be uh solid gold to you same as a gold coin that you frequently oh. chew on <laughs> sounds uh, good yeah man it sounds yummy like you said that this book was locked? Yeah, it has a clasp over it, and there's like a, a, a hole for a key on that. Um, kind of like how some like 
diaries or journals have like a lock on them. Uh, the outside of this book, it's uh, like I said, it's completely solid gold. There's also some different gemstones kind of implanted into it. And there's a design of what looks like a king on the front of it, similar to a king on gold coins, actually. No title or okay. author? That's a shame. Uh, no, there's no writing oh. that you can see on the outside of the book. Maybe it's the Bible. It exactly. it looks like the king of the elven capital. I believe this is real gold. Oh, that's good. Uh, if we are looking to sell gold... Uh, we have a lot of it here. Oh, how much? Uh, it's uh, heavy. It doesn't taste great, though. I, <laughs> I will reiterate that. Um, it is metal, so it tastes like dung. Oh, can can you just like hold it up and show me? And not don't give it to me though. I want to <laughs> wave it in Sana's face, like really close <laughs> to her face. Shallow, 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 shallow. I like pushing my stick with the book, <laughs> or book with the stick. <laughs> Just hold, hold it still, please. Can Sana, as a rich girl, tell how much gold and how much it might be worth? Make a investigation check. One. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're not. You're not seeing. It just looks like a big chunk of gold, uh, possibly being worth quite a bit. Um, however, th this book looks like very grand so even beyond the gold this book looks like it has value and that it's something important is with inside from looking at it uh, from you said the, at it. the kings yeah so on, on the cover of it you see a engraving of what looks like a full body portrait of a uh, older looking man very long hair very long beard uh kind of at like a side profile he has this uh, golden crown with some uh, like spikes coming off the top of it. There's some insignia around him of like various symbols and such. There's different iconography of elven deities on the front, gems inlaid into it. Yeah, so yeah, Sana would just just see the the see the picture and just kind of freeze up a bit. Oh. And... Oh. That's why I rolled a one and takes like a step back, but and then shaking her head. We all oh, we have. I'd like to take out the apartment key. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I want to oh, try and put the the key into the the yeah, key. That hole. doesn't doesn't quite fit right. It seems the grooves of the key and the lock are uh, different, so it doesn't go into the hole. Mm. Well, mm. I'm out of keys. Pass it here real quick. I might be able to do something. Well, uh, oh, let me rummage around, see if I have anything else of, of use on me. Uh, let me just find, yeah. uh, just open up this yeah. compartment. So, and if, let me, if you uh, let me hold up, this, uh, if you just hold hand on, me the book. Hold and, on, and... please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to use the uh, the door knocker on the, on the book. Well, putting the door knocker uh, on it and uh, knocking it, uh, the class immediately... Uh, just comes undone and the book can now be opened oh the door oh, knocker oh, uh, oh. one Thank of the keys God. on the door knocker just evaporates with that out of existence there's now two did keys you test the door to see it was, did you test to see it could open up before you did that well uh, this see this thing i i the i bought this it has keys on it i thought maybe it would I, work it did but like but like well, so I just gives like Shallow a stare while he has a lock pick in his hand. <laughs> hey, although it does now seem to not be uh, solid gold, I suppose we should get rid of it. I don't think no. there's much use for it. <laughs> see, yeah, you see paper pages on the inside of it, but it has that thing where like the uh, sides of the paper are like uh, gold painted, painted. Uh, so it kind of like gives it the appearance of being a solid gold lock. Hello, oh, no, we can't throw it away. What does it say? Can she uh, even read? It's can the, it's pe it's not gold. I don't. Uh, Rock lady, would you like it? And I'm holding I, I the would love dung it. covered book. Oh wait, no, 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 in no, no, front no, no, no. of her, <laughs> in front of Pebble. He like puts her hands out for a second and then and then jumps away, forgetting it's covered in dung. Like, no, wait, 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 wait. Why don't we got... clean it off first? Is there water? If Shello could put it in his mouth and swish it around oh. a bit. Don't don't say that. Uh, can uh, can Sana uh, take a like glance around the surroundings if there's if there's any movements if this place is safe to just relax for a bit. Make a perception check. 
Yippee! 11. 11, uh, you don't currently see anything near you. Uh, are we... Are, is, are you guys sure this is a, uh... ideal place to be reading? I mean, the sun's out. You can see the, the text, so... Good as any, I say. Uh, how, how are you? How are you? Kind of like investigating the, the the contents of this book. I'm like really, really struggling just to just really focus on trying to get at least one word correct. <laughs> like some like the first page. Yeah, like I'm. Okay. You know when 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 someone <laughs> squints to try and like read something. I'm All right, so, since you're that flavoring it that way, can you make an investigation check at disadvantage? Yes, okay. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Oh fuck! Wait, was that two? two? Nine, Natural two. <laughs> was it two? <laughs> what the fuck? I guess take whichever. I don't, I don't care. He rolled four times today so far. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Fuck! And three of them have been that. <laughs> that is fucking fuck? insane. I'm. I guess that's fine. He, he is oh weight god. dice. Make him change. Uh, are you reading it out loud or in your head? Uh, I can read it out loud. As you read out loud, everyone around you notices that uh, despite you not reading a ton, not being well read, you are speaking the words on the page very, very elegantly, perfectly even. What you, what you get from bag. just uh, reading through like the first page, this seems to be a book authored by the king himself about oh. how to be a good leader and reading through it yeah you you get various lessons in um just how to treat the people of your kingdom right how to be a fair judge of of character how to negotiate with others and you feel like that if you continue reading this book all the way through um which you surmise would take about 48 hours that uh, whoever reads it, it would increase their charisma by two permanently. <gasps> Ooh, that's wild. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, hold on. That would put me at zero. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> think about this for a second. What? What are we thinking about? Think charisma. Can we just don't think about it. Could he always speak like that? It. I think. Oh. Uh, I think so. It's what it's I sound a, like. It was the voice of an angel. I'm saying that. Think about it. Shell is a bard. I don't know if that tracks. I don't think does, that's does think? think about it. Pebble is a paladin and has a low cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Pebble should have it. Uh, yeah, but like. <laughs> Pebble, can you read? I, I think. Yeah, I think. What? I doubt. Give me a, give me a straight doubt. answer. I'm going to punch you. I mean, like, 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 read what? If the word's too uh, long, can, it, it might can, be can you Can you read a book? Yeah. In common. Yeah? What is your intelligence? For longer than three seconds. Uh, maybe maybe five. If I focus really, I really, really you. hard, maybe you. ten. We pull the book out, find out what it is, and we all stare at Pebble. <laughs> <laughs> Just blankly. I'm furious. Wait, so it has to be an unbroken 48 hours. No, it just takes you 48, 48 hours, hours oh! to read the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, this makes, that makes so um, much more sense. I thought you were saying that I had the four straight 48 hours. For someone who really read beautifully, he sure hates books. <laughs> it's it's just, it squiggles Ow. all in a line. I don't like it. Sorry. Anyway, I, I, th I throw it over my shoulder. I quick quickly scramble over to try and... Yeah, as you do so, can you make a perception check? Oh, God fucking, yeah. Please Hold don't on. let us lose the book. Please don't let us lose this opportunity. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not going to lose you, the book. Did he throw it back in the dung? <laughs> That's a 14. Um, as you go to grab the book, you see way off in the distance uh, some like dust as if sand is getting kicked up into the air, kind of moving uh, sort of in your direction. Whoa. I wonder if it's me. It's definitely not you. I was really hoping that perception check would be for realizing that the book still has dung on it. Oh, it does. Can I see if I can see what's kicking up the dust? Uh, make a perception check. Great. Never mind. Uh, how <laughs> how like far would you say it's away? How far away would you say it is? It's, it's still I mean, pretty far distance out. Maybe like a mile. 
Actually, much. probably 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 way more than a mile. Probably like three miles. But you see it like way off in the distance in the horizon line. Should we get a, Should we get a move on? Uh, yes. Maybe. Yeah. A move on what? Uh, the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Something about Sana cursing. Jello, you're you're from here. You know where this the, your the the city is, right? I'm oh. I I well. Let me tell you a tale. Wow. I joined this group of uh, misfits in a, a big coliseum, and from that day, I knew I, I that was where I was from, and that's where I arrived in this party. But do you know where this specific place is? No. Okay. Well, um, do I know? I mean, you all know because you were told it was down this road. Set out. Would I be able to jump into another dung pile? <laughs> oh my if god! If that's why? what you want to do, why would you do that? Because I'm no. I'm starting to be somewhat suspicious of this book, and that maybe this isn't Tic Tac's book. If if you want to try searching another dung pile, you make an investigation check. Yeah, hundred percent. Seventeen. <laughs> Checking another one of the dung piles now. Go going through three of the five around you, uh, you're not seeing anything. Well, it's a bunch of dung. It's a bunch of uh, what looks like. Uh, just like crushed up trash from like a different carriage um, that was like broken up and put into this pile of dung. Yeah, you're finding like tattered cloth. Uh, this seems like a pile of just like dung and trash. Mm. I want to go stomping through more dung. Okay, right, make another investigation. Fun. <laughs> okay. Can we just go? <laughs> this is 13. 13. Yeah, I'm like a kid jumping in a puddle. Um, this one, uh, you're getting what seems like there's some rusted weapons in here, actually. Uh, there's a rusted dagger that seems pretty unusable. Uh, other than that, it's just more, like, uh, pieces of wood, tattered cloth, pants that are, like, ripped up. Oh, Baron, he's gonna get tetanus. Can we... You gotta right, stop. I'm, I'm waddling over to the last thing, Bob. <laughs> Can't make an investigation check. I'm just gonna let him do this. <laughs> I'm looking through his mouth as our Marin. 16. Uh, yeah. you, you go through this one. More uh, just like trash, uh, food waste in this one. Like uh, It's hard to tell if it's from the dung or just also put in here. Uh, like, like little pieces of corn. Uh, however, what you think is corn is actually two pieces of gold. Gold hip, coins. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh. oh, goody. What a so world. So now, Shello I... and Balthazar have poop-covered coin. Can I... Amazing. Can I bite on one of the gold coins? <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. Gold. Yeah, let's get, let's get one more investigation check. Stop Hell doing this. yes. Stop doing this. Man, and that's all my good here, rolls. If he Natural 20. Like a dog, I'm gonna kill oh, my him. God. <laughs> oh, my God. What, another nat fucking 20? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's all my good rolls. It's so Holy Jover. It, that's that's it for this, the that's, campaign. You done. bite oh, into it, body. and some of the gold flakes off. It's a platinum. What? what? Oh, <laughs> shit. Bullshit! Oh my god. <laughs> this is indeed bullshit. And that's that's all because the one goddamn one, one platinum, one gold coin you can add to your mouth. This is not real gold. <laughs> Do what? Should I put it back in the poop? No. 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 Give it here. I'll I'll get rid of it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, if you want it, I, I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> Damn it. Finally leaving the dung behind you, except for what's still on you. It's taking you a bit now, because you're all walking, you don't have the luxury of the carriage. Uh, it's very hot out, you're all like dripping in sweats. Uh, kind of all of you make constitution rolls. Yay! Lane just got another nat one. Yeah. Yo, so we got a negative Negative one from Marin, 12 from Pebble, 17 from Sana, 5 from Balthazar, 16 from Shello. So, Marin and Balthazar, you take a point of exhaustion. Of course. Yippee, Um, I'm now on level two. Yeah, me too, buddy. Getting to you two. The rest of you are fine. Pebble, you're kind of feeling it, but it's not getting to the point where you're getting overly exhausted like the other it's... two yet. Shello, did you have yeah. exhaustion? I do, I just realized. Okay. Uh, all of you actually, actually think have exhaustion, really? right? We do. Yeah. yeah. I need you guys to That's remember that, because I'm not going to. Sorry. <laughs> but would have been probably only 
an hour is now taking you like two hours it's getting um early afternoon. evening by now afternoon Ooh. as you're walking you begin to exit out of this sort of ravine going onto more flat land and the first thing to come into view is a gigantic mesa formation and then you start to notice holes dug into it like the sides of the mesa and even structures wow. coming off of this mesa then you see buildings around the surface that culminate at the bottom of this uh, very large mesa. As you get closer, the smell of rock dust and sulfur gets stronger and stronger as you're moving forward. And eventually you begin entering the streets of what looks like a town. But you're not seeing that many people on the streets. You see like a green mantis looking man that's leaving what looks like a general store carrying some paper bags of just random supplies. A couple bug people walking on like the sidewalk that kind of look at you as you all enter town. But it seems very empty. A lot of the buildings seem empty. Coming into town, you pass by these centaur like ant guards that have this torso and head similar to shellos that of a thrycreen but their lower half is more like a fully grown ant whole bunch of legs kind of moving them they're holding like spears they have helmets on they seem to be this the town guard of this place when you said a mm -hmm. centaur i i genuinely thought you were talking about half ant half horse and the, the <laughs> no it's <laughs> it's it's the all it's all ants is just the ants. The top half of the ant is more humanoid ant, and the bottom half is like an actual, like, large ant the body. Thorax. Yeah. These seem like guards, and they're kind of glaring you all down as you pass by. Uh, I'd like to um, wave at them. I have a question. Are they, since Shello is, like, shorter than us, does that mean that these other, like, centaur ants are shorter than us? No, they're they're bigger than you. Damn. Much bigger. I thought that would be really. It'd be really funny if they like try to be intimidating, but me and Marin just walk past. No, no, no. Even even other. the other ant people you're seeing are the same size as like a, a regular human would be. Okay. <laughs> just especially tiny. And I then the buildings you're passing by here, they look constructed out of a thin sort of like uh, plywood. Uh, they're all painted the same shade of uh, this chipping cheap white paint. And many of the buildings, like I said, they look vacant or look like they simply house just supplies, uh, storage. Dust is kicking up with a breeze, a tumbleweed rolls by as you hear the voices of a, what sounds like a gathering of people that are chanting at the town's center where a giant hole is dug into the side of this mesa that goes further into the ground. And at this gathering of people, uh, ant uh, and bug people. It seems to be like a a picket strike, and they're yelling chants. But as you kind of uh, approach all these bug people, some of the ones in the back stop to plug their nose and look back at you. A mother ant says quietly down to a child in like a sling close to her chest. She says, "That is why we don't go out in the town outskirts, young man." the dung I, I thought they were just saying that we smell like shit not no, that's that exactly what they're saying yeah. <laughs> well okay no, shut up you know what i mean this uh this crowd of bug people a lot of them are uh similar to shallow where they're like uh sort of ant like uh, somewhere like mantis like there's others that are like more beetle-ish and flies and mites and all sorts of different kinds of bugs uh not just ant people uh, but seemingly leading the strike, uh, the chance, is this bee-looking guy. Large eyes with tiny bent wireframe glasses. His yellow fuzz, uh, it's a bit patchy, making this like balding spot on the top of his head with areas of the yellow fuzz being stained black with soot. He's wearing a tattered gray trench coat with a uh, pair of light blue overalls on underneath with a tuft of his bee fur poking out at the top like a big scarf or as if his jacket is like fur lined. Oh. <laughs> That's really cute. 
and he's chanting out things, and then uh, uh, everyone around in the crowd repeats after him, so it seems that he's the one leading this uh, whole strike happening. What do we want? More pay. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? More pay. When do we want it? Now. More pay. If we oh, don't I... get it, shut it down. I heard about these from my father. Apparently there's like some type of gross business practice. Um, what? <laughs> They're bugs. <laughs> they... I think he called That's... them unions? I, I no, they're, they're bugs. Workers are taken care of and not exploited. I, I, I'm, I'm not a business person, man. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, d yes. Um, what is this uh, protest for? What are you guys protesting for? Uh, the, we're protesting the working in the mines. How, how, how much are you getting paid? It depends on the uh, the output of resources, uh, but basic copper, we get uh, food stamps for eating. Sana. Sana. No, no, that, 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 that's so low. Sana, Do most you... people get paid in copper. Excuse what? me. Uh, hello. Uh, do you eat the stamps? Do we eat the stamps? Uh, who, who are you again, uh, young man? I'm Shallow. I don't I'm believe we met. Juggling ant boy. Uh, Shallow, that's a good nickname. What's your what's your thry clean name? I'm uh, Shallow, the juggling ant boy. Uh, okay, and uh, the, who's the who's your other friend here? He turns towards Boulder. This is uh, no, 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 no. I'd like to hear it from from oh. this man himself. Okay. Okay. Speak up. He's, just lo he's looking in the Boulder's eyes. Uh. Why is your friend not speak? Uh, he is... Uh, he is not the... He's not a the monk. Most smart. He's not a monk. That's not... No, that's... It's like a vow of silence. That's not true. <laughs> we're not... What's... We're not going to lie to these people. It's a good recaller and just, like, <laughs> fucking freak him the fuck out. <laughs> true. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He, he broke... He broke his vow of silence. <laughs> He's no longer exists. He got banished. Uh-oh. <laughs> he must go back his, to his home planet. <laughs> he thought about speaking. This beat is taking too long. Time. Okay. So, uh, I figured it out. This is not a Thrike Queen. I just assumed that... Fellow Thrike Queen, do you, do you ride around on this Thrike Queen? Or this non uh, this green is, bug? This is the, uh, me and my associates. This is our, uh, stony steed. I've this never seen a, uh, a beetle of, of this sort. He appeared one day when there was a large tree and has been helping us ever since. That's, uh, this beetle lived in that kind of tree. What was this? Uh, a far no, away land. No, no, they no. arrived. We were in the desert. Well, uh, did you all uh, need something? You seem new arriving to town, and you smell as if you were attacked by the the doo doo boys. Or the, Thank you. Or the <laughs> bandit group. They're we did the get doo -doo shit thrown at us. Yeah, the yes. doo doo boys. Are you the doo doo boys? Do they, they play at a bar? No, if you if you came in not on the main road, that's doo doo boy territory. They they've been attacking every uh, every caravan that comes by. That's why uh, people only take the main road. Your your Google well, boys, and uh, you are they yours? I no, I of course not. I, I most of us here we hate them. They're outcasts from Thrykreen society. I'm very sorry to hear well, that. They lost a few members today. Oh, you managed to take care of some of them. That's fantastic. I, I ate one. You <laughs> ate? Shallow's a bit more eccentric than the rest of us. Like I asked, uh, what do you? What is your group uh, coming into town for? We don't get many visitors here in the mines. To be perfectly frank, my name is Shallow. <laughs> uh, we came here to discuss about the uh, this coliseum. We heard uh, about. A uh, bit of a, a riff raff, as as some might say, in uh, in the capital. Uh, I we. Oh, so you were to... already aware of the strikes? Fantastic. Yes, I'm not sure why we asked why why you were striking. We had.
previously encountered uh, the, the, the aforementioned Riff Raff in uh, the capital where we spoke with a, uh, I believe, uh, a, a green leafy fellow. And we had spoken uh, slightly about the, the Coliseum, though we would, we, we would be willing to help you in any way, uh, provided we can maybe sleep. Oh, so you've, you've spoken to Raquel. That's fantastic. Uh, he should be back here any day now, uh, actually. Uh, so you spoke to him when he was striking in the capital? Yes, and I, I helped him as well. I uh, I chanted. That's that's fantastic. Uh, you're, you're just what we need, actually. Uh, see, I'm I'm just one of the file and link, uh, but you can speak to uh, Tic Tac. Uh, he's more of the uh, in, in charge of the... Uh, the union and the in the strike. However, he's a bit caught up at the uh, the church right now. That's why I'm leading the uh, the group here. I understand. And uh, it, you, so you you're just one of the uh, I I would say every man, but I I suppose we're not quite men. You and me are we? We're boys. I'm a man. You seem more boyish. How, how old are you? <laughs> I'm. I'm not quite sure. Oh, his fingers. Well, I'm. I, I'm sure you'll get your gross spurts here soon, Squirt. My name is Shallow. Right. Oh, the, um, sorry. The name's Burke me. Oh, thank you, fuzzy friend. When he chants, does he do a little dance? Since bees communicate by <gasps> dancing. Please. Uh, yeah, he do, he does kind of yeah. uh, do a little jig with his with his chants, kind of flailing his arms and moving his like butt around. As he as he's, he kind of like jumps up as he chants to like get like a, a height to him since he's shorter than some of the other bugs. Like when, when he goes hey. to the rich, he's twerking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he really gets like the pep in the step of all the others as well. Is there a place where I don't know if you've noticed? I seem to be um, I seem to be in rather poor uh, disrepair. It might not be best. You are. Uh, to... Most of you are covered in shit, and all of you smell of it, and you're also bleating, some of you. Uh, yes. I assume uh, in your fight with the doo-doo boys. Uh, but if you're asking for a place to rest, uh, I'm sorry, but the, the inn is closed as there's no one to work there because we're all on strike. I wish I wish for a place to clean. So I guess we should go to the church. Yes. Yeah, to see to see Tic Tac. Not oh, come on, no one's gonna attack us at a church, guys. Yeah, no one. No, will be one. there's definitely no one out here trying to kill religious people. No. And there's no one who said that they would be maybe around this area yeah, no. in the church. Never. As you're as you're all preparing to leave, Burke me uh, gets distracted himself by a carriage that's arriving in town that he realized was the thing kicking up this dust exiting oh. or entering into the town. It's a carriage that. It arrives in this town square and some uh, of these dirty tan beetle looking guys start getting out. Should we hide behind the building? So, I don't trust I don't trust whatever's whatever you're about to say. I would like to hide. Yeah, because stealth check. Oh, At disadvantage. Roll yeah, because yeah, you smell. So yeah, as you're all uh, watching this, Marin quickly runs off and goes behind a building. You aren't too stealthy about it, but they don't seem like they care. And the strike is kind of blocking you anyway and like chanting and uh, making a lot of noise uh, these tan bugs uh, there's three of them they're they're pretty big uh, um, and like muscular but there's one like smaller one that's uh, leading them around the same size as the other thrycreen and then one like really small like uh, smaller than shallow uh, bug that's like a, a dark gray black kind of beetle looking thing um, they're all getting out of this carriage. Then Burke, uh, getting distracted, uh, exiting the conversation between you all, he yells out, Scab bugs! Scab bugs! Then the rest of the oh, crowd Lord. joins in, booing at this group, um, just yelling, Scabs! Scab bugs! <laughs> That's not good. Should we uh, intervene? or We should boo. And some uh, elven knights that were accompanying them in the carriage are getting out to kind of clear a path to the mine shaft, uh, kind of moving some people from the crowd away. Uh, Being elves, I'm going to go hide with Mary. <laughs> make a stealth check. Disadvantage. Uh, if 
five and a six. <laughs> okay, so you you go run off uh, as well, kind of hiding with Marin, but Marin's kind of in the way of Marin. behind the building. You're just kind of bumping up against her, still out in the open, pretty much. But uh, Marin, I mean, hiding, right? the <laughs> the elves do not seem interested in your group at all. They're focused on kind of pushing this crowd of people away, uh, seemingly what they're ordered to do. As these boos like ring out at these bugs and the one in front that's uh that looks like the other tan ones but like a little bit smaller than them uh he he holds up a hand like he's waving and taking in applause almost this like mischievous grin forming on his face that's showing off crooked yellow mandibles that almost look like rotted teeth is this is this the medium-sized bug or the smallest bug this is the medium-sized bug okay human-sized bugs the other were like more hulking and yeah. and large then there's one like really small one the chanting at these guys these scab bugs seems to have taken all the burke's attention kind of getting away from you all to the chant let's go find the church it doesn't take you long to find the church because it's kind of near the town center it's this uh white wooden building matching a lot of the others in this town but with a small steeple at the top of it that kind of makes it look like a church it's easy to uh, spot. There's a bit of a stir happening around here. There's a bunch of paladins adorned in the same sort of armor as Pebble. Uh, same sort of symbols. Pebble's goddess and Garad. Uh, a few of them with symbols of Corellin, but they're going in and out of the front doors uh, constantly. Uh, some even appear to be erecting these barricades out front. And just, it just seems like an overall heightening of security going on. We're going, we're going into the church. Yeah, let's go. On the inside, it's very modest looking. Uh, just a few simple pews. Uh, there's a podium up front. Uh, the podium actually is the most grand looking thing uh, in this church because it has this um, uh, gold plating on it on three sides of the podium of three different women seemingly to represent the goddess and Garad. The one of, on the front of the podium is uh, holding a sword and looking down at it, um, it going straight down like to her body. Uh, the hilt of this sword is the symbol of Corellin, uh, the symbol of a bursting star. Everything else in this church looks very plain, uh, nothing on like the walls or anything, just um, this, this one podium and then various pews. And there's more paladins in here. Uh, in total, you guys would count around like 10 or so. Uh, they're all moving around, uh, talking to each other, making preparations. In stark comparison to the uh, to the Thrykreen in here, they're just kind of sitting at a pew, seemingly praying to themselves. But compared to all the paladins, there's only these two Thrykreen in here. It seems like not a very busy place. Um, and then you see coming down steps that go up to this like second store it's almost like balcony up up top do you see like some bookshelves on and such is this one thrykreen who's frantically speaking to a paladin that seems to not quite be listening to him this paladin carrying a bunch of like wood heading outside this thrykreen is like i'm telling you who would want to harm a church this is just unnecessary and will scare more in the town away away from her teachings this thrykreen uh, he is this black ant, uh, almost mantis looking with long antenna that go in front of him uh, and kind of wiggle around as he moves frantically. And on his uh, black exoskeleton, he has these white designs and stripes and stuff. And he's wearing these tan coveralls that are very form fitting to his skinny body. Uh, however, the sleeves are ripped off, and the coveralls seem to be over this, like, big baggy um, uh, brown sleeves that come out from underneath the, the coveralls. And then he also has all sorts of tools on a belt and a sash that goes around him. Then he has a little uh, name tag sewn on to the coveralls that's, like, almost, like, half peeling off. Uh, but you can make out that it says tic tac It's him. And this paladin, like, uh, walks off outside, and so Tic Tac stops, puts his fists on his waist, and, like, kicks the ground, and just goes like, huh. Hello, uh... Ah, hello. shouldn't you be in school? 
Who are you? No, I... I'm not educated. Ah, uh, sorry, I, I don't think I've seen you around uh, town before. Uh, my name, my name is... Am I far away from him or am I close to him? Because I'm shouting as if I'm far away from him. Uh, where are you? Uh, I'm far away from him. Okay. <laughs> my name is Shallow. He walks up to you. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Tic Tac. Uh, Shallow is... Is it your Thrykreen name? Never heard of a name like that. I, uh... The, I'm still shouting. The name is Shallow. Okay, I'm my name's Tic Tac. Okay. My name is Shallow. I'm a juggling ant boy. He uh, <laughs> he looks over at the rest of you just like blankly. I I am a uh, our humble leader. I'm not yelling anymore. Uh, and I'd like to point towards my my associates here. Uh, I will go through them and introduce you. This is. Money bags. He interrupts you, pointing at Pebble. He is like, "Oh, then another paladin. Uh, are you here with any more news? Uh, any news of the the uh killings? Tell him, tell him the news. Tell him. You seem confused. Uh, the paladins here. They evidently heard word from big city of Firen that Casilians say a threat could be on its way to murder the devout here. But I just don't uh, buy it." These teachings are new to me, but who would want to challenge our paladin, one that is sworn to protect the needy? That's the mightiest cause, if any. Maybe a, a paladin would want to attack a paladin. That makes absolutely no sense. I don't. I don't know. I, we may have encountered someone who is fair, fairly paladin murdery. Uh, that wasn't enjoyable. If that's what you are referring to, of course. They said something about the guy coming here. I thought, I'm not sure, but they're making preparations just in case. Well, it's good that they're preparing. Uh, whoever this guy is sounds uh, like he should be feared. We have a guy. So are you not from Firen? I'm not from Firen. We were just there, but I'm not from there, no. I don't think any of the mountains here are from Firen, but did, did they have a message uh, for you? Did, I assume that there was... All the, the, the hearsay, there's no actual attack coming. Well, uh, I can't give any insight onto whether there will be an attack, but there have been attacks. We were attacked by a, a man who wanted to murder paladins. That was probably some kind of misunderstanding, maybe. You, you think it was a misunderstanding? What? He was pretty clear. Well, regardless, if you're not here from Fyron, but you're a paladin of Angala, then what brings you to our little mining town? I I am. I'm just, I'm here with my associates, as, as Shella would say. Yeah? Yeah? And? I, wait, I, we wanted to, to check in on the strikes. I, I don't... You're here for the strikes? Yeah, yeah, yes. Why is this one so bad at speaking? I'm not bad at speaking. <laughs> Looks back at Shello. Okay, uh, maybe oh. I'll try you again. I am a humble leader. <laughs> my okay. name is Shello, <laughs> the juggling <laughs> ant boy. Oh my fucking god. Dude. And you are? Yeah, okay, you really so shouldn't have tried that. You're here for, you're here for the, the strikes. You have, no, you have no connection to the church? Sending more paladins? Uh, no, I, I wasn't sent by the church. Okay, it seems I misunderstood. I'm sorry, I'm locked out. I'm not locked in, I'm sorry. Look in, <laughs> trying to look in. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm Pebble and I'm here with my friends. It's crazy. <laughs> if we could speak in maybe a slightly more uh, private location. Privacy? Uh, I mean, you are kind of stink. You are kind of hurt as well. Maybe even yes. the sun poisoned. Uh, did you walk here from firing? Yes. That's crazy. No. Why would you do that? Uh, we were attacked by your... Ah, uh, the Doodoo -doo Boys got you. By the Goo Goo Boys, <laughs> yes. The Doodoo -doo Boys. <laughs> the Goo Goo Boys. We were told through a mutual uh, friend of ours that you uh, were, were the leader of the... The, uh, the, the, the rioting, not rioting... Oh, that, don't don't say rioting. Kind of lowers his voice. That that's not a good look for it. But I'm I'm the union representative. Yes. 
Yes, the uh, the you and you and them against the uh, the Colosseum being uh, constructed, and that is why I would like to speak with you uh, privately, if that if that would be uh, acceptable. That uh, sure, I suppose. I mean, not really listening to me here anyway. Uh, we could go back to my place. You do all look pretty tired. You could. St- Stay there forever long you will need if you need to discuss stuff with me. I could maybe cook you up a nice meal, get you good and fed. Uh, yes, please. Save my life. I'd like to rub my tummy. Yes, please. That that would be great. Anything for the needy and hungry. Let me show you to my den. Here's a den. And then what? Uh, he, <laughs> he starts leaving the, uh, the church, um, and he heads back <laughs> over to mine entrance you guys were just at. Uh, now the gathering has cleared. It seems the carriage that brought these bugs in uh, has left, departed, and now the uh, crowd has dispersed. Uh, there is still a decent amount of bug people here, though, coming in and out of this mine shaft entrance. And uh, once going down into this mine, Tic Tac kind of leads you into the entrance. You see it... Uh, begin to diverge into a bunch of different tunnel systems in this dirt uh, within the earth, many of which abruptly end as the tunnels seem to have run out of resources to be dug, but some have various booths set up in them with Thrycreen selling some wares. Some are retrofitted to be seed farms, uh, chambers for trash. You see an ant herding some small green aphids in a ranch-like tunnel. A farm. Aphids are these sort of like small uh, green bugs. They're almost like they're almost hurting them like sheep or something. Um, That's really cute. And uh, as Tic Tac continues leading you down, it becomes apparent that this is the real bug city, not the company town overhead. But as the Thrycreen mine their way further into the ground, they've retrofitted their tunnels in this tight knit community. That's actually really fucking cool. I'm I'm now wondering, yeah, if we had Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh my god, this is so cute. Before you brought up the the thing, I was like, if there's a map for this, I really hope it's like an X ray through like the the mountain. (laughs) Like an ant farm. Or through like the floor. Uh honey pot. Yeah, I wanna know about the honey pot too. Can I eat the egg the egg hatchery? Is that allowed? No. No. I think that's like a nursery. Honey pot sounds like like a burlesque show i don't think i don't think uh, shell is allowed in there yeah you see uh all these various tunnels that there's different uh sort of shops set up uh, another shop seems like anything you'd be interested in. it just kind of seems like stuff for people in the mine in this community but um tic tac shows you into a very large chamber with many holes dug out into the walls this uh, seems like it'd be the housing section of the town there's holes kind of dug into the walls and into layers of this chamber, kind of resembling the look of a beehive or like a hornet's nest in the dirt. Uh, each of these dugouts have like a leaf curtain at the front with dye markings on it that seem to be like room numbers. Um, some of them are kind of pushed open. You can kind of see inside some of them. But uh, Tic Tac leads you to what you assume is his as he opens it up, shows you inside. And as you've delved deeper within it's gotten a little harder to navigate this place not really being made for non-bug people but thus far the tunnels have been pretty wide open to allow for lots of foot traffic maybe even large equipment to fit down the mine shaft but in tic tac's room you start to really feel the inhospitality of this place the crampedness the yucky overpowering smell of soil as some dusty dirt and rocks kind of fall into your heads from over top. It's just one room. There's a dirt mound in the center, sort of acting as a table. Some dugout spaces in the walls with leaves over them to work as cupboards and other general storage spaces. There's a spot of some loose soil in the ground with a crumpled up blanket on top made out of some woven grass. There's a metal pail with some uh, body waste stench emanating from it. Nice. And Bugs also have to pee. Oh gosh. What seems unique about Tic Tac's room is that one whole wall has lines dug out and books resting inside. And it seems like it's sort of like a bookshelf. 
And Tic Tac says, oh, Welcome to my abode. Let me whip you up something to eat while we talk. And he goes over and uh, starts going through some of the cabinets. How much do you pay for this, uh, this establishment? How much do I pay? Well, I, I don't pay anything. This is the this is the uh, the mines of of of, of the Thry Crane. Uh, this is where we've lived all our lives. Oh, we don't pay either for for our. Apartment. Oh, if you're asking me, no, 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 no. You don't need to pay anything. I'm just doing this out of the kindness of my heart, following the the teachings of, of the three bodied goddess that I've uh, found so recently, and as the the rocky one uh, knows all about, I assume. Yeah, as I know so much about. I do. We met with the the Don Trotters, the the group. If I should I should I say that quietly here? His antenna kind of pop up, and he's like, "Oh yes, the the Don Trotters. They some of them came into town, uh, met with me. Yes, they had mentioned how you were uh, uh, creating this. You were the 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 leader of the union, and." Uh, we we were we felt as though our goals were perhaps aligned in in a, a roundabout way. Uh, we the uh, my me and my associates here. As I turn around, I assume and point to everyone. Yeah, they're uh, all, some Marin especially is like ducking underneath, so she doesn't like uh, hit her head <laughs> on the top because she doesn't really fit just in here. Uh, and that everyone's kind of cramped in this very small space um and like tic tac is is fairly tall but he seems like used to cramped spaces doesn't seem to bother him or any of the other bug people balthazar is like the perfect height for you <laughs> real i want to heart Lol. i want to hurt them we uh are rather upset with the uh coliseums as a whole and um we would wish uh for cooperation, if you have any to offer. Uh, you're, well, we're already striking, so I don't know what more we can do with that. We're not building the Coliseum. Well, if if you have any information, I believe perhaps uh, structural information about the uh, the these large Coliseums, uh, any uh, perhaps underlying uh, weaknesses or uh, structural faults can you make a persuasion be... check at disadvantage oh shit is this at disadvantage normally or because i'm exhausted, exhausted. okay i was Ooh, wondering okay okay uh, 10 <laughs> and he turns around and he's like you're not scabs as well are you there are no they send you from the capital to start working on the coliseum instead of us of course not i look at me you think <laughs> do you believe that i can work I believe that this could be a tactic the the capital is employing, sending a, a some child right clean from from the capital and, and the and their posse I, to to rough me up. I hardly even know. I hardly even know the capital. If I may be so kind as to show you my skills, can I attempt to juggle in his cramped little oh living God. space? Yeah, make a performance check at disadvantage. Okay. 26 and 14. Um, hmm. You start juggling, and he's like, Oh, the capital's teaching you a lot of tricks, I see. I don't even know what a capital is. I am a performing ant boy. I, if I may indulge a, a portion of my past with you, to be honest and vulnerable... I want to, like, kind of lean in and whisper as to not alert the, the, the party. Why are you still juggling, I assume? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was once in a a traveling freak show. I don't know if, you, if you're aware what that means. I'm not. It means we, we went around. Uh, we traveled, right? Okay, so that's in the name. Somewhere. I assume you travel. What is a, sort of, what is a freak show? It was a collection of s strange and talented folk, very talented folk. Uh -huh. uh, not as strange, but very talented. Okay. And I was, I was one of them. I was very talented. And 
I'm. You were I met talented. With, what happened? Uh, you, as you can see, it's been a, a little while since I last jumped. But I do enjoy your your journey. He kind of moves his head. One of the scimitars almost hits him. He's like, I do enjoy your juggling. I'm kind of close though. Yeah, sorry. It's. I'm not. <laughs> I am a bit a little rusty though. My swords are not. Uh, <laughs> I, me and my associates, except for money bags, uh, we met in one of the coliseums, and we we made our way out without uh, w without much of a fuss, let's say, without getting off on good behavior, and uh, we plan on. Finding out how we can uh, work on bringing down the rest of the Colosseums. Bring them down? That's what we need the the design for it? The well, I'm, uh, maybe. I'm not sure if there are any physical weaknesses in the, the Colosseums, you see. Um, I, I've been wondering about that through this whole journey. How How does one take down a Colosseum? A brick by brick. No, I mean like you didn't. Sh you all did it before, or? Well, I mean, uh, not well, entirely. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, like maybe not at all is a better. Is well, a better. I mean, choice we, of words. We caused a bit of damage. Well, yeah. Well, either way, do do you do you all have an idea on how to take it down? I mean, I thought, like, you know, oh, infiltrate from the inside, do some I fancy... ideas. Oh, I don't. I was... I was thinking big <clears throat> picture here. Oh. I well, believe... I was, I was thinking a little You know, bit we'll burn that bridge when we get flat. to it. Don't. I feel like we need to burn that now. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, yeah. Money bags. Yes. Our previous experience... You're not money bags. <laughs> you just got a stinier voice. <laughs> Our previous experiences with the Colosseums, there was one large fish man who seemed to be uh, the uh, the one the in charge, at the, the big the boss. Children jailhouse. This that was we met him there. Yes, I think I uh, at him. And it seems as though also they are capturing these small but very large children <laughs> uh and training them to fight which i don't think is all that bad no you you explained why we we ah! do this but i'm four of you were in a coliseum together you you're, you're talking about the crusty bay coliseum uh, yeah i suppose so well you're the ones that see well some of the uh workers here that aren't totally on the union side uh they have them up there boosting security because some some escapee uh, escapee attempt, uh, but uh, they had told us that uh, this hero Teb had slaughtered them and died in uh, at the same time. While uh, Teb was a Teb hero, is no hero, no Teb was a hero. It was unfortunate as he he did turn on us at the at the very last moment and. I want to, like, bite on my finger. He... We had to... It... Oh, no, my boy. You told him. Keeper of the Owl, you can tell the rest. <sighs> yeah, I cut his head off and put it on a spike. Yes, he did that. Oh. Uh, being my, the spike being my weapon, by I, the way. The spike was of no significance. <laughs> it was of significance <laughs> to me. Though, it's funny. what I would like to reiterate is each of these coliseums seems to have one main uh, boss at the very top, and it seems, at least to my understanding, once we had injured and later on uh, gotten rid of this uh, large fish man, it seems as though the coliseum went into disrepair. Oh no, Coliseum's doing great. Uh, 
They got, there's a slime guy who's apparently taking it over. Uh, he's not too cooperative with the capital, uh, which is good, kind of slows things down. Uh, but uh, they're, they're getting uh, more admission than ever because the people heard about the Teb story. You see, what? if it weren't for my, oh, good lord, if it weren't for Teb, it probably would have turned out different, and, uh, I'm very sorry. I get very emotional. We believed that we had taken care of this, uh, slime man beforehand, but obviously not. Uh, Shola, can you make another persuasion check? Uh, just straight persuasion, no disadvantage, because it is with advantage, but since you already had disadvantage, it'd be Sick. straight roll. Seven. Great. Okay. I used up all my good rolls. <laughs> jumping through shit yeah yeah i'm not sure if i'm buying what you're what you're what you're saying because the, the capital we're, we're pretty sure that teb had, had killed these these people i don't know how we can prove that we were there but i mean did you get given a description we're not exactly a super uh common group i didn't of get a description no but uh, uh they got a whole statue of teb there they're selling teb merch and everything God, I fucking hate Tab. Excuse me, Tick. Tick. If I may, we have a mutual connection via this, the, the, the Don Trotters. Do you have any proof of this? This is an issue. The Sending Stone wouldn't prove anything because we'd have to use it just for him to... Uh, um, he could tell you what we ate for breakfast. True, <laughs> true. Oh, what'd you eat? I... What do we eat? Okay. I mean, we we have we have this sending stone that we could speak to a member of the Dawn Trotters, but I don't know if it's wise to use our only uh, usage we, of it on that. It's I like guess. the evening. We might as well. Would you do me a favor and ask for proof? Never mind. That's too vague. Well, well, but how will? The Sending Stone, they can't hear what comes through it, so... Can they not? I don't think so. I mean, it's in my I'm head, sure right? It's the user. Crap. Can we give the Sending Stone to Tic Tac? Put it on speaker is crazy. <laughs> I, we, we do not have anything on us directly. We do have a Sending Stone, which another member of the Don Trotters has, though I do not believe... We can make that audible for you unless there is a way of doing that, and I'm unsure. Well, you it's can just hand it to me, and I can ask. Okay. Oh, okay. What if you ask something silly? Say that you're here with us, please. Do you want me to ask something silly? Because I, I wasn't no. going to. I go How ahead. silly? Well, what I'm, do you want I, me to say? I don't know. You're the one who's suspicious of us. I am, but what do you want me to say? It's, say you're with it's us? me, your best friend, Shallow. No, no, not, not what you would say, Shallow. What you would say. Oh! <laughs> explain you're with us and that you need proof okay I'm all right i hand him the this. sending stone then <laughs> i'm just waiting for this guy to turn out to like hate us and hate the dawn trotters <laughs> he takes it from you and he um he says he says through it ah uh, hello this is tic tac are you the dawn trotters <laughs> i'm here with some People, Shello. The name Shello. is Shello. And and money bags. Money bags. And don't repeat it. Marin. No, 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 stop, stop, Shello, stop. Stop. Cover Shello's mouth. No, oh, fuck. I think that's it. Didn't get the last word there, but <laughs> I think that's amazing. A moment passes by. You see, Tic Tac's antenna kind of tingle, and then he says, "I'm getting a transmission." <laughs> 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 Peanut, I'm kind of, I'm curious about the setup of your ant uh, colony. By the way, what do you mean? There is no graveyard unless the dung efficient. gorge is the graveyard. <laughs> More than likely, because turning into fertilizer. I, I, I happen to know quite a bit about ants. I'll have you know. Ooh, I did my research. <laughs> Um, actually. Um, 
Actually, the thorax is the middle abdomen. He starts, mm -hmm. uh, he starts saying, Oh, I I'm getting a response back. Uh, she's saying, what the fuck? Yes, this is Eloise. Tic Tac, we brought you a basket of mulberries as a gift. Please just help them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I believe you. He hands the sending stone back to Pebble. <laughs> yeah, they brought they brought me a basket of mulberries when they when they came to meet. Uh, I gave them all to my friend because she loves mulberries. Uh, only they would know that, so. Okay. Thank you. That's. We should <laughs> probably thank Wonderful. her tomorrow. We definitely should. Yeah. As I feel like we got on her bad side. Should we give her mulberries? Do you believe us now? Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, sure. I mean, my down trotters. I mean, they're, they're usually pretty selective about who they, from what I hear, who they let in. Oh wow. Okay, so you, you with the down trotters, you want to take down the whole coliseum? That's what you do, my help? Yeah. I mean, I yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. At this point, he's starting to go back to finishing up, uh, cooking something for you all. Um, and he's like, well, how can I be of assistance then? Yeah, we, how, how, how can he? Uh, we're hoping either for it, some form of uh, insider information about the the construction or the, the structural uh, roundness of the Colosseum or uh perhaps just some other form of support that you may offer us if you yourself can think of a way that an army of ants could help us in uh, uh, a coliseum thank you well i was just the foreman of the mine was operational now the union rep uh, i don't really know much about the construction of the coliseum itself but ramir in town here he should have the whole uh, blueprints of the, the whole coliseum i suppose you oh, said you were four men. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, let's, um. <laughs> let's move past it. <laughs> and he's like, oh sorry, what did you say? I was I was uh, I was cooking and he turns around and he has uh looking forward to this. You have an actual recipe for this? Tic Tac uh starts handing you all these uh metal bowls with a cloudy clear liquid inside. Oh. And he uh -oh. says uh so he hands uh one to each of you, he says well, we don't make uh, much gold in the mines, but uh, this is this is a specialty. Some savory salt water for your main course. Then for dessert, oh, no. some nice and sweet sugar water. Dig in. Oh, thank you very much. You start slurping I, I, on it. I pull out my flask and just look towards the group and while I pour mine in, like, watch them. Put it in there. You're putting booze into salt water. Yeah, oh, that's no. Not a cook. No, that's awful. Wait, what? <laughs> he takes a break. Doing. He takes a break from slurping on this uh, this salt water and looks up, and he's like, "Oh, the, you're not a fan of salt water? Oh man, I didn't think about that. This wouldn't sustain a non thry clean. It's, no, 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 no. It's I, not I, that I, I don't I, like I, it. I, I, I've recently had enough salt water. <laughs> I'm trying to stay I, off it, actually. I, 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 I don't mean to be mean. I just, I, you know, I, it's, I, I don't want to disrespect your culture, so I, I want to try it. No, um, no, it's okay. I, yeah. I can use the last of my meal tickets I have saved for all of us, and we can take a trip to the uh, cafeteria. They, they have fruits and veggies and stuff. So there'll be more your speed. Question. This time, actually, Burke and some of the other fellas in our, in our little gang might be there. I, Ramir might even be there, so it might be better just to go there and talk to him yourself, maybe. After finishing both of the bowls, can I try and grab one of uh, the other people's bowls? To have another serving. No, uh, you can have mine. I don't want it. You you, you can have mine. I also oh, don't holy. want. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> this is far too much. Thank you. I really do appreciate it as your leader. <laughs> However, <laughs> you you really you. <laughs> no, no. What are you saying? <laughs> the cafeteria wouldn't happen to have a crab apple in, would it? A what? Okay. A crab apple. I, what? I... We, I think we are crab apples in the cafeteria, yeah? I'm fairly certain that crab apple is a regional thing, and we have now left the region that it is in. It's a big space down there. It's where the entire colony gets together for recreational activities. We should even be fine talking about the Coliseum <laughs> there. People talk about hating it all the time. Uh, it's, it's our job, after all. Well, you you lead the way. Tick. Uh, tick. <laughs> <But> <laughs>
<laughs> I can't. I love how the most simplest name you still Tick, say there. Uh, like. <laughs> he's only a little ant boy. He's not an ant man. I love Morning. the hesitation after the second tick every time. It's so fucking funny. It just, I cannot get over it. Tic Tac begins showing you deeper into the mine. You pass by a tunnel that seems to go to a uh, place where eggs are being watched and some children are being taken care of uh, going past um, uh, more of those ant guards and uh, eventually go deep enough where he uh, takes a side tunnel down to a uh, another large chamber about um smaller than the one you were just in but since there's no individual rooms it feels more spacious in here there's a lot of like uh mounds of dirt that people are using as tables there's like a, a kitchen area in the back with like some grass vines making up doors that lead into uh what is like a storage area uh, it's kind of like a buffet type thing where there's just a bunch of fruits and vegetables leaves grass uh, a lot of uh, different seeds um there's some uh salted crunchy like snack type things and like little leaf bags and there's a station of leaves holding uh like nectar inside they're kind of being used as a soda fountain basically how this works is that you hand over a meal ticket and then you're allowed into uh the place where you can grab food and everything and then from there it's just kind of help yourself there's various uh cooks that are like putting new food out and stuff tic tac grabs himself a metal bowl uh gives food stamps over for all of you to enter into this place and he uh he grabs like a scoop of seeds and puts in the bowl and then uses one of these leaf fountains to kind of pour some nectar in so it's kind of like this seed and nectar cereal grabs like a little salt shaker type thing and puts some like pollen on top and then uh waits for you all to grab some food they, they do have crab apples uh, there, right? yeah they're and when with like the the fruits and veggies there's uh crab apples uh, a lot of them uh seem to be kind of rotting but a lot of the bugs are eating them anyway like it doesn't like they don't mind it uh, so maybe not good for you guys to have to kind of like pick through the rotted ones to find more fresh fruits and, and vegetables um there is this slop like uh, combination of like chia seeds and nectar that's almost like a worse acai bowl basically it's very tart uh but no like actual like grain slop that you guys have had at a lot of other places do they have any dirt uh, there there's the whole place is made of dirt in the bowls i like to scoop some dirt off the wall and put it in a bowl Tic Tac's like, oh, young man, I wouldn't eat that. It's not good for your it, digestive tract. This is where we eat, right? Not usually dirt. I, Rock Lady, I'm very confused. Is this not the food area? Well, this is the food area, but you don't eat the dirt. This is dirt? <laughs> yeah, yes, that is dirt. That's what flowers yeah. grow in and bugs crawl in. And as, as, you're, as you're getting deeper into the tunnels, the dirt is kind of like more rocky and, and hard as well can i take one rock out of the dirt yeah i'll put that on my plate as well or my bowl <laughs> and then i guess uh splash a nectar that's okay you know what i if he wants to eat that i guess who am i to stop him right a responsible person well but he is his own boy he can make his own decisions Man, it's time you're we the let responsible him... person you're the one who's supposed to stop him Apparently, yeah. I'm the only one. Shallow, do not Hello. eat that. But it, it, it is not. Is food. it not food? It is not. Not everything in this room is food. It's not like incredible edible something uh, or the other building restaurant. Restaurant. Place. It's just a restaurant. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called. Oh shit. The place where you eat. Uh, <laughs> kitchen. Regardless, I'm, I'm... not everything here is food. Can I? look at the walls to see if there's any like worms in the dirt oh my um, god yeah there is a worm grabbing a plate of food in front of you Don't he what is he not. eating he's like... making himself like a like a kind of like a lettuce wrap with a, a grass and some seeds and rotted vegetables inside i'd like to also grab a rotted vegetable <laughs> and some grass thank you for convincing him to, to get the 
For real food, you're kind of holding up the line though, so can we hurry up? Yeah, sorry. I want to try the nectar. It's very sweet. It's almost like juice, but there's no like distinctive fruit to it. It's like really sugary water, pretty much. Is it is it like filling at all? No. Or is it just... Oh. It's like okay. a, it's essentially like a drink to you. Pebble sort of looks like she doesn't have much of an appetite picking out some nectar and just sipping on it. I'll use like a napkin or some sort of stick to poke the rotten food out of the way and find some fresh food or fruit. Okay. Dig a little deep, grab some of the more fresher fruit and just continue on. Yeah, you, you guys are, there's a big line behind you as you're kind of stumbling around trying to find food that you can actually eat. People are like tapping their feet, getting impatient. And Suna also grabbed some stuff, but a little bit more so that we can also have some for Pebble. Um, <laughs> Fantastic. And then and sit. Oh, thank God. I did not want to touch that. You're going to get kicked from the line at this rate. <laughs> Once you all get food, Tic Tac begins walking you over to a table uh, where you see a familiar face of Burke me, uh, the bee that was um, up leading the charge in Tic Tac's stead. Uh, you also see some um other bugs that seem to be in their uh group of friends there's a bluish purple rhinoceros beetle he's more blue forward but like he has some sheen that makes him more purpley uh, some of him is kind of uh more colorful like some green and yellow kind of shine to some of his exoskeleton he's wearing brown pants with like a belt uh no shirt or anything uh but he's taking two fistfuls of seed at a time to shove it in, into his mouth. You hear someone refer to this person as the name you had heard before, Ramir. There's two more people uh, sitting at this uh, dirt table. There's a green praying mantis that is uh, wearing these orange kind of robes. He has this katana that's like sheathed on his, uh, like a sash on his belt. Um, that's uh, sitting there very stoically, uh, eating his food a, a bit slowly. You hear this person referred to as Mai no Mai. And then you see a pinkish, kind of dark pink, almost purple moth that's uh, kind of fluttering above the table, sucking on some nectar. And she's referred to as Zimbalm. Oh. Tic Tac uh, goes over, uh, uses his hands to like kind of morph the dirt on the ground in some chairs for you all, and then sits down. He's like, ah, "Hello, friends. Uh, uh, these are my uh, my new friends. They're they're here to talk to us about the the strike, the Colosseums. They know the Dawn Trotters." Yes. Hello. Hi. The Green Mantis kind of nods his head and, and says, "Greetings." Gre greetings. A uh, green. I get it. That's not oh, what I meant. I, I'm colorblind. Should I introduce us by name? Are you going to use our names? What do you mean? I mean that you only call me by my name. I call you all by your name. Um, My name is Mirren. This um, ant boy is Shello. That's me. This is Sana. And then this is Pebble. Hi, I'm Rox. My, and um, handle that pretty well. Cut the, off Pebble before she went on a tangent. The pink, I, the pink God. moth, the pink moth, uh, takes a break from sipping on the nectar, and he's like, "Oh, good to meet you all." I love how you refused to let me introduce us, but then you said, "This is Pebble," and then Pebble said, "I'm Rock." <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is why I swiftly moved past. That would be like if Balthazar is like, "I'm flesh and blood." <laughs> <laughs> Perk me is like I met you all uh, topside. Didn't think at the time I was coming face to face with members of the, you know, the Dawn Trotters. Uh, I respect what you all do up north. You know, it's great work. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you all uh, have plans for with the Coliseum. Oh yeah, uh, we we have interest in learning what kind of work you're doing on the Coliseum. Perhaps nefarious reasons. 
Not for you. know about the structure of the Colosseum. <laughs> Varnasus Beetle is like, Oh, Colosseum, that was sort of my territory. Uh, well, the Capitol and the Caecilians hired outside contractors to make most of the blueprints, but uh, I made my own uh, some additions to them, and I was there uh, in as the salute, guiding the construction of the entire place. We almost got to completion before the strike started, but, uh, well, you know. Right, we were... Um... I'm told to find you in order to see such blueprints. But but the Dawn Trotters! In a sense, we were given the opportunity to work with the Dawn Trotters to um, expel the Colosseum, so to speak. And upon speaking to Tic Tac, he let us know that we could come to you for the blueprints so we could maybe devise a plan regarding the structure. The way you're speaking, uh, what exactly do you want to do with the Colosseum? Completely it. Yet. It's like, like, obvious to plan. <laughs> That's what we're doing, right? Um. Yes. You guys start trusting the enemy, but the it. moment it's an ally, you guys start distrusting them. We trusted <laughs> oh, a fucking God. tree. You guys are talking about trusting a tree, but you can't trust an ally. <laughs> I, me, I trust no one. Yes, we we have plans to dismantle the Colosseum, so to speak. Dismantle? Uh, wow. Uh, how do you suppose to do all that? That seems like a lot. Uh, brick by brick. I, that would take a long time. It's taken us a long time to build it. You're going to go there and dismantle it brick by brick? No, uh, we, could we are also... not. We are not. That is why we would like to see the blueprint so that perhaps we can find some sort of structural flaw in order to aid us in this dismantling. Oh, uh, well, I do have the blueprints but i don't have the blueprints uh you see they're in my office at the coliseum so i don't oh. have them with me unfortunately okay oh, fuck. how would you say security is at the coliseum well you know at this current moment i can only guess i haven't been there in some time they probably have some guards just keeping watch make sure no one's sneaking in but also most communication has mysteriously ceased my, my own my own wife is stuck in her shop in the town and i haven't been able to see her since the strike started and i've tried to go over there in other means but the capital says that they're not entering any new people into the, the resort at the moment and they're being very hush hush about it and uh, it's infuriating i just want get my wife and never step foot in that town again well that's not good um no it's not <laughs> well we uh. we plan on uh making our way there if uh if you would accompany us there to, to uh your office to find these um i, I blue the blue if you could help us find it, uh, that would be most helpful. Uh, Tic Tac, what do you what do you suggest? Tic Tac's like, ah, well, if the Colosseum goes down. Uh, this this, I guess that could be good for us. It uh, removes one of the things that many of us are striking over. Will, he turns to you all and he says, many of the uh, Thrycleen are against the Colosseum. However. Uh, much of the Thrycleen don't honestly care that much. It's a bit of a divide between us. If the Colosseum is no longer there, uh, we go back to working on different projects that uh, many of us see as more humane. We aren't infighting as much, so taking down the Colosseum could be very beneficial. And they're not going to let you in on the perimeter, as Ramir said. Uh, they're not letting people into the resort. But we do have a boat we use to take cargo there. However, I would have to come with as the union rep and I have my hands full. I can't leave yet. Which work are you doing here? Oh yeah, you all could help out. That'd actually be great. But most importantly, the, the scab bugs that just arrived. Uh, we kind of need them out of here. They, they're pretty bad for the strike. Yes, there was... Yes. Uh, Quite, quite the the hubbub. They'll be down at the face of the mine, and as long as they're there, we have no bargaining chip since it's being worked. Chip, right. you say? Another person that's still been working through the strike that's very crucial to the mines is is uh, one known as Cadmium. Cad, he's a he's a blacksmith. He works a little bit further down in the mines. 
Uh, he uses uh, the metals we mine to make supplies and infrastructure for the mine itself. If we're able to halt the manufacturing of these supplies and infrastructure for the mine, uh, it, it would be of great use because then they're even less likely to have more workers down here as it becomes more unsafe, they don't have uh, as easy access to supplies. However, uh, none of us have been able to get to Cad. He's more of a... He's more hard-headed. He wants to keep working through the strike to make money. Have you uh, attempted to give him money? Well, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us don't really have money to give, especially not a wage for working every single day. Uh, it's kind of why we're striking. We need money ourselves. Ooh, I see. You need money. Another thing... We need supply cut from the honey pot. Oh. And what, pray tell, is this pot? Well, while they're working down in the mines, instead of coming all the way back up to get food and sustenance, they just have the honey pot set up right next to the mine faces, a little bit further down uh, where uh, some of the tunnels meet. And they can just go to the honey pot to get food and go right back to work. They don't need to come topside or further up the tunnels. How long do they go without seeing the sun? Oh, the, many of us can go months without seeing the sun down here. Uh, most of us pretty much only live under the surface. Uh, they Capital tried to build the company town up top, uh, but we told them we didn't need that. We just wanted to be paid more, but they're doing all that at this point. Berk me, chips in. And you know, you shouldn't be up there in that church giving them any of your time. Tiny Tony only had the capital get that set up so they could further control us. What we really need is uh, better pay, better supplies, then we can bolster our own community. Yeah, yeah, I get all that and I agree, but uh, the capital they didn't invent the faith that I found through their company town. As your union representative, I meant to serve the people, negotiate for what we want, and uh, and really these elven gods preach the same. Those paladins up there serve the people. They've only been here a short time. They already helped save some of those kids in the collapsed tunnel. You, you can't tell me there's some good... And Burke starts talking. He's like, You represent us, but none of us want the faith touching our town. With the capital's access of building... Uh, uh, peeling churches, they're just trying to bulldoze over our worship of the great Morwy. They're getting in a very heated uh, okay. <laughs> argument right now. Boys! Morwy gave us all our lives and our freedom. Just because we don't gather in churches doesn't mean our faith is insufficient. I give thanks to Maury every day I dig in her soil. What is this argument accomplishing? I don't know. I think Shell is holding fingers. up a finger to Merit now. And with oh, our freedom, I'm, gonna, I'm allowed I to find a new deity to give weapon. my praise to. Look here, boys. Oh, whoa. You look me in the eyes. Thought, and tell me who is this? I forget his name, but he was very small. <laughs> Uh, Tiny Tony? Yes. Oh, he's the he's the mine operator. And whereabouts is he? Th his office. In the tunnels. Uh, and that that this is no use to me. Well, actually, that, that <laughs> was the... told me there was a small Tony. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, sorry, sorry about the, the, the argument there. Tic Tac's talking right now. Uh, our brood queen, Mori, for which this land gets its name, she was a great queen ant long ago. Burst the Thry Cream people. Stories passed down to say we all worked as a hive mind then, but in the disappearance of the gods, we were left without our queen, and the hive mind was broken, and our people gained awareness. An aspect of this hive mind still kind of lingers in this Thry Cream, and that's why we're able to speak in the minds of others. And he taps his antenna and it vibrates a little. We Whoa. call the queen the Monarch Morwy, and uh, most here still worship her in passing, but. I have found the light of a different worldview. Uh, besides, why would I want to worship a deity that has instantly enslaved us all? Hell yeah, man. And Pebble goes for a fist bump. He uh, fist you bumps you easy. back and Burke me. He's like, Enslaved? Not Patui. It was simpler. No worrying about these elves from up north coming in and wanting all mine. You know, uh, we broke from the hive mine and had to organize together to keep the colony going. I'm sure it was much like where we're at now. However, after years and years of... Uh, People have changed, and we're having a harder time organizing everyone under one goal for the strike. Uh, like you, Tic Tac, getting distracted by these other gods and whatnot. Uh, there's never why any- Why can these things not coexist? Why, why can't you do what you wish to do while letting someone else worship what they wish to worship? 
You don't need to be the same entity. Because you... they're, they're brainwashing him, they're building these, this fancy town that Tiny Tony had a hand in. They're, they're trying to make us give up on the strike. Tic Tac is supporting the strike. Holds up his hand. He's like, well, in my opinion, he's spending way too much time up there. I had to lead the, the chance today. His support's wavering. But he's he is not. You are working on a hypothetical that may never come to fruition instead of focusing on perhaps ke keeping that goal going of getting the strike, getting more pay, helping everyone. Tic Tac's like, thank you. That's what I always tell him. My judgment isn't clouted. In fact, my my worship of, of a new deity, it makes me a better person. Excuse me, Meren. Uh, I, I do believe uh, to, to find our friend, our new friend, Tic Tac, Tick. We had to leave where the the union was. It, I believe he was already quite distracted. And if you parted the language, oh great flying one, as I kind of bow down in front of the moth, <laughs> it was rather rude, and it ticked me off. <laughs> oh. The pun for him to be so disconnected from this uh, this you and them that he was uh meant to be in charge of the pink moth is is like oh i want no part in this they do this every night oh my god it's night regardless yes criticism is very fair a criticism helps people grow and become better but fighting and being at each other's throats ultimately helps no one not even each other not even yourselves so what is the point of not having a civil discussion do you think that the other people who are here working in these mines or on strike want to see you two fighting all the time? Kind of an That's awkward right. silence uh, between them. Uh, Tic Tac and Burke me are kind of looking down oh, as you guys are starting lecturing them. Uh, Sana's just kind of like, like falling forward and then like shooting back up, falling forward, shooting back up, and then her <laughs> face plants into the dirt while oh, everyone no. talks from just exhaustion. Burke me is then like, oh, whatever. The civil discussion argument, it never goes anywhere either way. We need to focus on this for now, you're right. So if I could add one more thing onto your list of tasks. Tiny Tony is up in his office, and maybe you all speaking to him instead of Tic Cat to bring some good. He won't agree to all the terms, but if there could just be a sort of pause till I get back, that would that would be fine. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Where would this office be located in a actual specific direction? Okay. Well, you you down. you go up the tunnels. You take a left that that brings you up uh, to the main mine shaft. Then you take a right. Uh, then uh, from there you take another right uh, down another tunnel. And then uh, left of that would be the, the egg uh, hatchery and, and where they watch the kids. Don't go in there. Take a right instead. And then uh, take a take another right at the Kykreen's uh, farm. Okay. And then after that, you're going to want to take a left down a, another side tunnel. Uh, or you can or you can take a left and then go a right after that. That takes you down a, a similar tunnel. That They both end up in the same place. But then you go, you can go in that tunnel and then you take a uh, left. Uh, not not go straight forward. Most people go straight forward. They don't, they forget to turn the they have to do a U-turn, they go back around. So you go, you take a left, and then you'll be at this office. Pebble just okay. vomited. <sighs> this sounds very reasonable. It may not do any good in the end speaking to him, but uh, you can at least try maybe striking up a deal. Most importantly, maybe making sure that no more workers are brought in after you, well, if you can deal with the scab bugs already down there. Uh, an outside perspective uh, may be good. You all know the Colosseums as well. You can maybe use some of that uh, knowledge. I don't know. But uh, if that's all squared away, I should be good to leave and book me can watch the place in my stead. Is there a place where we can rest unless this small Tony is uh, available at the very moment? Uh, Tony's probably available right now, but... Uh, I showed you to my room. Is that not good? I, I am more than comfortable. Uh, uh, what about the rest of you, gang? Why? 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 It might be cramped. Going somewhere to rest, Sana. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Any place is fine, frankly. If you guys get cold, I'm sure I could borrow some more grass blankets from my neighbors, but there's plenty of dirt to burrow inside and get cozy. 
Small, small story, Crane. Uh, I've been meaning to ask. Uh, do you have the parents in town? Maybe, maybe some of you can stay there. Uh, who, who, who is that? You, you have the relatives in town. You said you were. Uh, I'm not sure what a relative is. You mean in relation to to which family, parents? I, I, I believe. Wait, which one of them is talking right now? Tic Tac. <laughs> Their voices are kind of blending together. Sorry. I would like to uh, pull you aside for a moment. I uh, told you in confidence about me in a uh, traveling uh, freak show. Uh, yeah, but what about before that? Before you were at the freak show, where were you there, from here? I, I, I do not recall before that. Um, oh. Well, we passed by the hatchery, and it'll be near Tiny Tony's office. They have archives there of all the Thrycreen that, you know, have been hatched in Mori. Maybe you can find some relatives in town by going there. And then you also learn of your real Thrycreen strong name instead of this uh, yes. shallow crap. Excuse me? Who's crap? Just uh, your name. It's uh, it's not a Thrycreen name, you know? Oh, well, I, I'm... You see, there might be confusion. I'm, I'm an ant boy. I yeah, don't know like, what, the, like what a three cream is. You don't know what a three cream Oh, don't pull my leg. My hands are here. You can see. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, they, when you go speak to Tony, maybe just stop by the uh, the hatchery. They can they can maybe uh, test you and see if they can find you in the archives. Uh, I, I mean, you I have to be from here. difficult test. Oh, no, no, no. They, they do all the work. Okay. I don't like work. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand. Talking to your group. Okay, so everything uh, uh, I would need before we go. See, I have my hands tied with, with the church and things, obviously. I'll go through it again. Uh, scab bugs. Need them taken care of. Need them. Uh, kick them out of town. Whatever you. Whatever. Uh, just can't have them working down in the mines. Uh, we also need Cad, the blacksmith, lower down in the mines. We need him to stop production on infrastructure and supplies for the mine. We need to get him on our side for the strike. The honey pot to be taken care of so that no workers down there can have easy access to food. Uh, that'd probably be better to do before you take care of these scab bugs as that'll uh, most likely make them more vulnerable. Lastly, uh, if you can talk to Tiny Tony, see if uh, you can strike up a deal for him to not bring any more scab bugs in while I'm gone. Gotcha. Thank you. Four things. I have four arms. Shallow, why are you looking at your hands like that? I, uh, I've recently learned how to count. <gasps> I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh. What? Wonderful. Is this true? No. no. I don't know. <laughs> given, given the state we're in right now, it'd be best if we maybe had a night's rest first, especially sauna, poor thing. Tic Tac, Crazy. since you all uh, don't really know the way, these tunnels are very confusing. He leads you all back uh, to the housing area back to his room you'll get set up with your sleeping bags and tic tac it's still uh, early for him so he's not uh, going down for rest anytime soon but he brings you over some uh, kind of scratchy grass blankets that aren't too comfortable from his neighbors since it's very cramped in here all of you laying down you kind of have to like overlap with each other and like scoop to the side like uh, uh it's gonna be bad for your backs and neck in the morning but you will get rest Tic Tac, though, he leaves, gives you all some privacy until it's uh, late enough for him to settle down. After, you know, after talking to Eloise the other day, uh, it's kind of, kind of got me thinking about this whole situation. Uh, and we don't, we don't really talk much. Um, I talk so I feel a lot. like, no, you should talk less, but we should, <laughs> well, we should, I, I, I don't know, this is just when, like, like, like the thought occurred of like what are what are what are you fighting for and and that's been on my mind all day and uh i don't know what what are what are you, what are you guys is fighting for i mm. i like to think that i'm fighting for the people stuck in the coliseums but part of me knows it's more than that i think i just want to prove that I'm not a bad person, like a lot of people thought that I was. <laughs> what? Why would you laugh, there, you bitch? 
Very. What, what, what about you, Balthazar? After seeing how many kids they were bringing in there, wouldn't have wanted it to happen to my own daughter, so they need to stop. Oh, you're right. Just remembering the whole ordeal inside your brain. Uh, sh shallow. I, I, I think out of everyone here, I know the least of, about you. Hello. What, what, what are, what are you fighting for? Well, you see, it's a long story. Uh, I was once in a coliseum, and I was told uh, to fight things, and then I started fighting, and then I met uh, these my, my wonderful new friends. Hello. And then hello, and then uh, you know, to make a long story short, uh, I now uh, fight things and kill things because uh, it's what we do. And it's uh, and people like it whenever I do it. Is that what you want to do, though? Uh, people tell me uh, that I'm not, I'm, it's, I'm not, it's, I'm not, I don't care what other people have to say. Well, I am here to perform. And uh, if I'm told to do something, I put my four little grabbers, little hands out and I uh, I grasp the opportunity and I I damn well uh sorry for my swearing I da I sure well do my best huh money bags if we are speaking of uh why we're all here and and fighting why are you uh still here and fighting with us well, we haven't heard mayor inside yet hey yeah. Marin, what are you fighting for? It seems like what I need to do. Like, I mean, I've always been a soldier. And the moment I stopped being a soldier, my life fell apart. It seems like if I'm not fighting for something, I'm. I guess I'm worth nothing. Huh. Well. I, I don't, you know, I, I started this not knowing how to come back from this. Um, I, I appreciate you all tell, telling me the, the truth, at least. It's, I'm sorry it's, for the, the weird questions. It's, it's, just, it's just been on my mind since... It's okay. Since the talk. It's good if we all know what we're here for. If we're all on the same page, you know? She, she kind of trails off, kind of kind of lost in thought, hesitant. I just sort of went where, where uh, the current took me, so to speak. Um, I... I... I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I... I guess deep down I I want to kill someone. Oh. Oh. I um uh I, I, I not not like not not um not um, Hey, this not is, like hey, hey. Innocent, hey, not like hey, an, it's okay. This is a judgment okay. free zone. I also want to kill someone. Uh, uh, anyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not that. Not, you not don't that, need to not explain that. yourself. I, for one, at least think I understand what you mean. But I, I don't know if that's what I'm fighting for, though. Donna, I can't help but feel like there's still something that you aren't telling us about yourself. What do you want to know? I don't know. I just I want to know you. I I don't really have much to say. I I I, I I'm I'm not I'm not like you in that regard. Okay. Well, I'm trying to be nice here and here no, just No, no, I think <laughs> I'm not trying to no, no, that's not. I just I'm just <laughs> It's I, okay. It's okay. <laughs> 
I don't know what you guys want to know. I don't know where to start. <sighs> I don't either. You could always start with what you want to say. I really want some wine. Expensive That's... wine. They do not have it here. <laughs> <laughs> they only have salt water and nectar. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. And wine can really get you messed up, and I want some. Okay, well... We can find some wine maybe uh tomorrow. Sure. We'll find a place. Sure. I'm not oh, oh, I'm I'm not stupid. What? Hey. What you, what? We, I know we're not going to. But thank well, you. Uh, I thought we might be I thought we might. Oh, whatever. What I have in this canteen right now, it ain't doing it, let me tell you. Can I hand son of my canteen? Oh my god, you're both drunkards. Yeah. Take a, I take a swig. High age bourbon from the dwarven capital. It's not it's wine, but it's strong. It's swirling around a little bit, sniffing it, kind of putting it near her ear. It's oh it's god. it's not wine, it's bourbon. Uh, I take a big swig and just hand back to uh, the bout it. Uh, Thank you. Oh, I might be able to sleep tonight. Holy fuck. Whoa, oh mama. That is so concerning. When, when it's is... enough to make Asana whip out the... <laughs> you know what it well, is. both that and Dude, those, the those whole dwarves. drinking alcohol to be able to sleep. Nah, that's me for real. I'm joking. Me. I'm it's trolling, of course. In real life. <laughs> what? No. Uh, We've all been functioning alcoholics before, right? <laughs> What? I have. No. I know that. I'm sorry for uh, asking the question, keeping you all up from it's this okay. long day. It's it's a good I don't discussion sleep. to have. <laughs> I've learned a bit about everyone tonight. That bourbon, what I've got left in the canteen is the last gift my wife got me for our anniversary. Oh. Uh, when she, as she's taking another switch, like, <laughs> like puts it uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Don't feel bad. You believed in sharing and spreading cheer with others. I'll, 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 I'll make sure I don't drink it all. Thank you. Absurd. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can I, like, <laughs> sit crisscross applesauce on top yeah, of the well pile. Uh, after everyone sleeps a few hours pass and um, tic tac comes back and then uh just uh goes into uh, a corner where he had a uh that that grass blanket and he kind of like moves his feet around and kind of like buries half his body under the like a loose patch of soil kind of curls up a little bit and puts the blanket under him and then just like stares at you for the rest of the night shallow i'm just staring back <laughs> Sana, Sana only needs a, doesn't need to sleep as long as everyone else. At, when she wakes up earlier, uh, can Sana do an insight check on him? See if he's like, if he's kind of, if there's like any of like worrisome emotion, if if something's on his mind or. Uh, yeah, Sana, if you want to do uh, rolling for insight, shallow roll a d20. And you can add your persuasion or deception modifier uh, depending on if you're hiding anything or not on that 20. sauna <laughs> does not appear to like anything has been wrong with him mm -hmm. would you like to do something while we wait for the rest to get up we can sit here in complete silence and <laughs> uh i will continue to make eye contact i'll try my best i guess Sonny, you look around the room and Tic Tac is now staring at you in complete silence as well. Oh! Shivers just shoot down my spine. Like, okay, okay, it's gonna be a long two hours. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, you all wake up for the morning, uh, sending stone, recharge, and oh, everything. They're awake. Yourselves oh. recharge. <laughs> Tic Tac starts digging himself up and putting the, uh, uh, this time folding the grass blanket as he knows he has company over. And so just pushing it to the side. And he's like, well, that uh, early morning, time to go to the church and pray. Uh, let me know if you all need anything. It, excuse me, uh, yeah. tick, tick. Um, tick I tack. enjoyed, uh, sorry? Points at his name tag on his uh, overalls, kind of <laughs> lifting up the part that's falling off. He's like, it says tick tacked. Yes, tick, tick, tick. Okay. Uh, tick, tick, tick. So I enjoyed when, <laughs> uh, when you the what you did with the with, with the floor uh, how did you do that 
oh, well, uh, to, to get comfortable, uh, you know, I just, uh, just kind of move the dirt around and kind of get under it, you know, help helps stay warm, keep me uh, away from any predators or anything, and, and just in case. Uh, never had to deal with that in the mines, of course, but yeah, just, uh, just, uh, just a way to keep steady and in, in the ground as I go in for hibernation over the night. I should, I should try this. <laughs> Who has the sending stone, by the way? Is this still pebble? I do. I do. You hear through it as you're getting ready for the morning. I hope by now you have what's needed for Mori. Depending how bad banned and hurt her, wizard likely close behind, uh, maybe less than two days. Oh. But if I mm. hyph, or not if I hyph, if I uh, use something like wheel, Right, W E apostrophe L L. One word. L -L. One word? Okay. Yeah, that's. Welcome to Scally, grammar please. school, everyone. Please, you <laughs> My are. My mom a is an English teacher. You're a senior. I respond with, "Got it." We'll try to hurry with what business we have here. Thank you for the heads up. Hey guys, guess who just got called by Eloise? She said, "Uh, that mm. the wizard that that uh pro probably killed Bambash is." Probably less than two days away from here. Damn. Yeah. So we we should probably hurry with what we have to do. Yeah. Should we start with the scab bugs, perhaps? Or talk oh, to that's... Tony first? Do we want to go <laughs> sort out the the closed shaft before we? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Before. Uh, Doing everything else so we have a clear way in and out. I'm gonna say the shaft is probably a good idea. That. Yeah, we can start with the shaft. Wonderful. Stop. All right. Stop <laughs> laughing. It's not funny. Let's head over. It is not funny. Let's go to the closed shaft. Why why are you blushing? <laughs> oh my god. Finding a way back out from the housing room back to the surface is fairly easy. As you go further down, the mine that's when it starts getting kind of uh, a lot of different tunnels going different ways and such but uh finding a way back up is fairly simple on the surface you begin to approach this abandoned mine shaft a little bit outside of the actual town that seems to go deep into the bottom of the mine where a lot of your tasks are that we'll get to next session, such as uh, dealing with these scab bugs, dealing with the food supply, uh, the blacksmith, uh, maybe speaking to Tiny Tony, checking out the archives, whatever else you guys uh, decide to do here in the great bug city.